By God, King, that's Jigsaw's music. As we continue on with Saw 2, Flesh and Blood, surely heading into the ending of the game, now that we've learned all of the story details, Michael has tied everything together. He knows what's going on. He now has clarity. He knows he has to expose the dirty cops. But first to do that, he has to get out of Jigsaw's Endless trap labyrinth that extends across several buildings and a subway system. How did Jigsaw put all this together? We, we can never understand a twisted genius like Jigsaw. Let's continue the game. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. That's what Jigsaw does for you. It makes you grateful. Ahem. <laughs> All these memories, if if you've seen the movies, I guess, of these quotes that they're they're doing. So I've only seen Saw One and Two. I don't know who Hoffman is, though the name Hoffman has appeared a number of times in these quotes and also in the uh, the case files we've been reading. I assume he's a major character later on, but I didn't see him yet. All right. You remember what was happening last time? I assume we're going up here. I probably should have looked at that last video. It's been a few days. A case file. Amanda Young was strapped into a chair, needles stabbing her arms. Jigsaw said that I had to sit down in my own horrific syringe chair. <laughs> I like that line. My own horrific syringe chair. Gotta get, gotta get me one of those and play a game. Colored vials of antidote would be processed by a large machine. If I didn't match the colors correctly, we would both die. She was abducted by a man in a pig mask. I can't know for certain. Amanda hasn't been seen since then. I'm guessing she's gone off the grid. And who can blame her? Is this talking about the first game? Because, like, this was... Wasn't this the trap Amanda was in in the first game? So is Tap now giving case files about what was going on in the game? We're not just talking about the movies, maybe? Uh-oh, we got a bomb. Got a time limit on this one. We love this puzzle, and we love when there's a time limit on it. I can tell you that much. All right, it's yellow. Then we need the blue. There we go. Oh no! Chain Man! Again! He did this to a second person? Because we absolutely killed the first one. The first guy was electrocuted. This has to be another person. This has to be a different person. He did this to like a second person entirely. Uh, do I use Valve? I'm trying to put out the fires. Why are you trying to kill me? I am so gonna kick your fucking ass! Oh, he got me. At least we got to see this again. Yeah. Now you're gonna die because the barrels are gonna explode. Yeah. I like that he tells me to get up. Live or die, make your choice. That's what Jigsaw said in Saw 2. Doesn't he say that in, like, every movie, though? He says it more than once. It's like his catchphrase. We love you, son, and we're waiting for you. That's his other catchphrase. My name is Jigsaw. I love you, son. Hey, 
right. Grab the file. Head in here. And do the puzzle. This guy. I mean, he looks like the first guy. It can't be the same guy. He has to be dead. Come on, get over here and fight like a man. Just get closer and we'll see what a man you are. This thing can't hold me forever. He couldn't have survived the electric the electrocution. I like how he talks like a wrestler. Well, brother, when I get you in the cage, I'm gonna show you what a real man is. Just maybe just wait for this whole process to go so I have enough time. Mm -hmm. Hello, Robert. As an addict, oh, this is Robert. <laughs> it's such a stretch to break the cycle you must move past your addiction and bring someone else with you to the wall how does this metaphor work jigsaw ensuring they live will be does that like there's the metaphor that he has to get someone else hooked on drugs Robert, you're chained to drugs. You have to grab someone and also chain them to drugs. So, Chuck was the first guy who was on a chain, and in his tape recorder, Jigsaw said that Chuck dr dealed drugs to Robert and then framed Robert for it, so Robert went to jail. This is Robert. Apparently, Robert is getting the same punishment as Chuck, despite Robert uh, sounding like the victim in that situation. That's what that sounds like. Jennings trap. Jennings Foster was tied down under a large pendulum, much much like Seth Baxter's trap. This time, though, his fate was not in his own hands, but mine. I had to connect a series of gears in order to reverse the pendulum's downward mechanism. He went on medical leave after Whitehurst. He visits me sometimes to see how I'm doing, right? Again, I believe that is the first game. He's just talking about finding people in traps and then getting them out of the traps. Well, okay, the elevator's right there. Can I get up on this? My floor. Can I? Mm -hmm. Oh no, here. Mm hmm. Here we go. Anything but anything back here I should get? Mm, don't see anything. Right. Well give up. The corrupt cops. Got 
nothing, Michael. Try to outrun a bullet. We're actually doing a pretty good job of that. Oh. Had my mind on the on the bullets. It tries to catch me with with the the trip line. I like how he's still shooting. He's probably shooting in my direction, but there's like walls between us. Block from the other side. Got to push something onto the... Uh-oh. Got to push something onto that, but there's a death box over there. Let's see what this is. Can I... No? Is this not, not a thing yet? I guess this isn't a thing yet. First I have to push something onto that, then maybe this becomes a thing. Move barricade. Oh, there's a box right here. Right, that unlocks that door. I don't think I can move this barricade any more than that. No, it doesn't seem like it's... Lo looks like I could push it out there, but no, I can't. Alright, this is far enough. Oh, here's the thing we need. Oh, there's a number puzzle over there, though. All right. Well, at least there's no chain man. And we know how to do these, so... Did that turn them off? No. What did that do? Well, it's by a high voltage thing. I guess it's supplying power to something. Oh, there's another one here. All right. Need to find the zones, the safe zones. Too late. That seemed like that was faster than before. What lesson am I supposed? What lesson am I supposed to learn from the proximity things, Jigsaw? What life lesson is do we have here? You you probably should listen. Lesson is to li listen for the beeps, the buzzes. That lets you it lets you know that there's a danger box nearby. Probably is something to do with drugs. I don't know. Okay, I can't do this one yet. Do I really have to push this in the way? I mean, I pulled it in the way. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can interact with it again. I can only, like, pull it out to right here. And that's it. There's space to move it otherwise. I don't, I don't know.
So, when I get far enough away, it stops buzzing. I wonder, does it completely reset from the beginning? Because I felt like that last one felt like it was going faster. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Also, did one turn on when I did that? Because now it feels like over here is a danger area. And this is not right now. Like, this is safe here. So, like, am I turning them off and on by doing this? So this one here is not working. That one's working. I feel like it's going faster now. Like, I don't have enough time to actually do it. I have to run there and back. Okay, that's turned off now. the one down here is still on. I guess... Is it? Yeah, it is. But it seems like that's the only one that's on now. Alright, so... Am I gonna have to do this puzzle while it's buzzing? It looks like that's what it's saying. back off. This one's slower, though. So I guess it's either make them all match red or all match white. Well, is, is it possible to do that? I mean, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be possible to do that. Like this one's all red over here. I'm not actually sure what pattern it wants. Does it want me to turn them all off? That could be a possibility.
So this is red, so that has to be white, that has to be white. We know we can start from there. So then that means if we're turning... I don't know if it's turning them off. Some of them were already on when I came here. And now I've already turned them all on. And that didn't work. So... Maybe we're going for everything off. Well, now there's only one on. But this one, the white has to be down. So this means white would have to be... Again, I'm assuming that if I'm trying to turn it off. And that would, that would have to be like that. And then red would have to be on the side, which means red would have to be on the top there, which means red has to be on the top there, which means red has to be on the side there, but it can't be on the side there. It would have to be like that. But then that would mean red would have to be like that, and then that would have to be like that, and that would have to be like that, and then that would have to be like that. Like, well, let's back off a bit. But if it's like that, it would have to be like that. But that would have to be like that. So can I even turn them all off? Would it want them to be all red? Is it possible to make them all red? I mean, it wouldn't be because some of them have to be white. There it is. Well, we're outside. Sometimes we go outside. We can't actually leave when we do that. Because it's infinite alleys full of tall walls and fences and razor wire. Like, that's always what it is when we go outside. And don't forget the warehouses. We love the warehouses. Obi Tate was locked inside a large cremator crematorium oven. He kept insisting that he was going to solve his own trap, but the only way I saw to free him was to reroute the gas lines leading to the burners of the oven. He ran off shortly after being freed and disappeared. Right. He was mad at Tap for... Jigsaw not giving Obi his own test, but rather giving it to Tap. He did not like it. And then he died in the second movie. He was like a very minor character in the second movie. So he gets a bit more fleshing out in the first game, which everyone wanted. All of the big Obi fans out there wondering, why didn't he get more time in, in the movie... Oh, no! Oh, I don't have a weapon. Is this the same guy again? He looks like him. He's like wearing the same clothes. Get over here and help me. Like, he says that. But then he keeps ramming me. I mean, he is, he is a rammer, so that's just what he does. I would appreciate it if he would stop doing it, though. I cannot press the button. So, I would, would need a weapon to attack him. 
uh, when he does that. Oh, that door's sealed now. It wasn't before, but it is now. Don't see any weapons around. Oh, is there... No, I don't see something on the floor. Can I move this? <gasps> kind of hard to examine things. That's not over yet. It's not quite over, I'm sorry. A little difficult to examine things when you have, you know, th this happening. Some choices of consequences that are not immediately apparent. That's just life. That's just life in general. You make choices every day and you don't know what the long-term consequences of those choices are going to be. You don't need Jigsaw to tell you that. All right, let's get over to that control panel, see what it does. He gets over here fast. Also, that scene happened so fast, it's like something got slammed down. Well, I mean, okay, you can move it. I need to get him stuck, so I have the time to do that. Oh, what this is. Nope, no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we can see what we need to do. No, no, no! I feel like this guy's very self-destructive. Like he doesn't want to kill us. He wants us to he wants us to help him. And the way he expresses this is by running at us at full speed, head down, spikes forward. over here so fast. I think he should be stuck. Alright, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I'm pretty sure that guy's dead. Oh, does he have the key? Do I need to examine his his blood stain, his splorch? Yeah, there it is. Good thing I didn't damage the key. Great, a weapon. I mean, I have so many lockpicks, I never use them because why? Jeff Reidenauer was strapped up to a large panel behind which sat mechanical spikes. I had to play a gruesome matching game, with the penalty for each wrong answer being a spike through a part of Jeff's body. Two days after escaping Whitehurst, he ate his own gun. Alright, so I guess someone we rescued from the first game killed themselves? Staff only. The deadliest of restrooms. Yay! We miss... You know, not enough syringe-filled toilets in this game, really. You always like to see more. 
Oh, is it right there? Okay. I mean, it's just a lockpick. Which I haven't been using. But, I mean, seeing the syringe toilet was its own reward. Alright, sure, why not? Let's get a baseball bat. Do we need one? I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah, okay, this is the other kind. That's right. I don't do the lockpick much, so I don't see these, but in this, I'm not controlling the camera. I'm controlling the tumblers. Ah. There we go. And of course, we have to have one of these. Wow, what's going on in here? If you want it so badly to be famous, to be in the spotlight, well, seeking fame in these spotlights will only earn you a quick death. All right, well, oh, the shotgun carousel. How fancy. All right, uh, where are the shotguns? Let's get on the carousel. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, they're just talking about the shotgun vest I have right now. Don't, uh... Don't get seen by the lights. Okay. Because, uh, Michael Tapson craved the spotlight and betrayed his father because of it, so now the spotlight will kill him. Yeah, I know. Spotlight. Alright. So I have to, like, get over here. So, the carousel is rotating. So, uh, the spotlights don't seem to be moving. Where am I going? Like, is my is am I trying to get to this guy? What's my objective here? No, he doesn't have anything on him. Oh, look out! Is there a, an exit I'm trying to get to or something? Like, I feel I've made a rotate, like I've gone around it. There's a door. Is that the door I came in from? Yeah, this is the door I came in from. Oh, 
Oh, that's just all spotlight, isn't it? Right, so we can't go that way. What factory do you think we're in right now? Like, what do you think that they, what do you think they did in this warehouse before it became the Jigsaw, another Jigsaw murder thing? All right, I don't think he said anything helpful. He just said, avoid the spotlight. The spotlight will kill you because you crave it. To be in the spotlight. Well, see. you feel bad that you wanted to be famous. Right, let's try to... Nope. Maybe we can get around it using our speed or something. Gotta go fast and everything. Nope, I ran into a spotlight. <laughs> Do you think that the the shotgun vest has like light sensors on it or is jigsaw just like watching and has his hand over a button thinking i think i think some of the light hit him that time i, I should hit the button Can I see an exit from here? There's like a space here. I can see a light. I mean, I can't go that way because it's all spotlights going all the way across that way. So I have, I do have to walk. I have to go around the long way. I guess. Yep. Right, well maybe I should have waited a little bit. <laughs> Choices of consequences. Michael's survival was my choice. I made the choice by playing Saw 2 Flesh and Blood. If I didn't play this game, Michael would never have been put in this situation. How can I live with myself, knowing I've done this to someone? I wanted so badly to be famous. Two spotlights kind of, kind of next to each other. Well, we could use this door here. Of course, the longer of I wait, the more I get... That is true. The longer I wait, the more I, I go back the other way. Losing progress by trying to be cautious. That's the lesson here. D do never be cautious. Always run head first into things. It's the only way, especially when you're dealing with drugs. Probably. Probably has something to do with drugs. So the guy with the shotgun collar in this cage, did he did he crave the spotlight too? Is that why he, he died? Spotlight craver? 
How dare he? Oh, there it is. There it is. We're getting there. Almost there. Almost. Just about. Eh? Do I have enough room? I'm gonna have to have. All right, we made it out. I learned such a life lesson from the sh from the shotgun carousel. What if there was one more one more spotlight just like outside the carousel? Like you let your guard down and you walk into it. You're, 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 you shouldn't have gotten you shouldn't have gotten into the spotlight. I never said there was only on the carousel. Spotlights could be anywhere. Oh, hello. Hey, how you how we doing? That guy just wanted to say hello. He wasn't on drugs or anything, Michael. He just want he was just he's just friendly. He murdered that man. On Jigsaw. You can't do shit. I'm the chief of police. You kill me, the entire city will be after you. Oh, the chief's down! Pigman! Well, okay. I guess we don't have to worry about that ourselves. Everyone's getting taken out. I guess the chief knew who Pigman was. Since he said that, you know, everyone's going to be after him. A right, couple doors I can try. Losing a son? Losing a son! And all I think about is time I will never have with him. Watching him grow up. Watching his life unfold. I have been robbed of something I never thought could be lost. Time is everything. Tap in anguish over the betrayal of his son. An emotional side to tap that we just we didn't know existed. A lot of photos. Can't really see what's in any of those photos. I like the test machines he has. Of There's like the the reverse bear trap. There's like a skull vice. Like diagrams. Maybe like drill a hole in someone's teeth? Chains? To, uh, like on neck and wrists maybe? You know, he's uh, brainstorming. Melissa's trap. Melissa Singh was locked into a large iron maiden with spinning saw blades in each half. I had to short circuit the saw blades by placing a magnetic cube in the correct circuit. Failing to avoid shorting out the batteries, holding the Iron Maiden halves in place would have resulted in both halves of saw blades slamming shut on her. She abandoned me in Whitehurst. I never tried to find her. She didn't want me to. I owe her, th owe her that much for Stephen's death. Never found her. So, it's hard to remember. Wasn't she the accomplice in the first game? Like, there's one ending where we're going after Jigsaw, but it turns out she's the one pretending to be Jigsaw. So I guess in this ending, Tap didn't discover that. I forget which ending was which now. Uh, two doors we could try. goes outside. Okay, maybe we should try the other door. Oh, well, here's the guy. I guess we can't, uh, observe the body. Nothing on him. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's one of these. 
you know, I'm good. I like how the music is constantly going. Uh... There's really no climax to that little thing happening in the background. Like there's no, like there's, it's not leading to anything. It's just, it's just there. Letter from Jennings. David, you saved my life. You saved so many lives. I will never know how to repay you, but I'm going to try. I know you don't even want to talk about you. What, tap? Wait, hold on. Dave, um... I, uh, who is this letter to? Is this to Tap? I forget if Tap's name was David. But what is this line? You don't want to talk about Jigsaw. Jigsaw is the only thing he wanted to talk about. What is this nonsense about Tap not wanting to talk about Jigsaw? <laughs> He's still out there. He's not going to stop murdering people like you and me if we don't stop him. I have a plan. I'm going to catch him. You saved my life. The best I can do is commit my life to finding and killing your enemy. Please burn this letter after you read it. Jigsaw could be anyone. Sincerely, Jennings Foster. Ammonia. Am I going to make another bomb? Seems so. I killed a man in a pig mask back at Whitehurst. Nobody knows that but me. I never even knew who he was. Just figured it was Jigsaw. I never even thought about it until I had to make the choice. Maybe he was a family man. Maybe Jigsaw kidnapped his family. I would do the same thing if Michael was in danger. Even though he ruined my life, he's still my son. I can't let go of this obsession with Jigsaw. I just can't. We're connected, me and him. Trying to find him just results in more people getting hurt. But I can't stop. This is my only solution. My only way out. I've lost everything that matters. Game over. Yeah, suicide's the only way. I, I find it, I don't know, it's like his... It's like portraying it like, oh no, his obsession's ruining him. If only he could let go. If only he could let go. But he's talking about investigating a serial killer who puts people into horrific torture traps and is still doing it, still active. It's not really a bad thing that Tap keeps trying to solve the case. It's not, it's not a bad thing, because Jigsaw is just continuing to do what he does, regardless of what Tap is doing. Well, that's the last tape. We missed audio tape number 16. I'm sure it had some vital information. But that's the last one, which surely means we're at the end of the game. That's got to be what that means, right? Right? Yeah. That's what that means. Seek sanctuary. How to open this door? Oh, we need the explosive. And there's the machine. All right, we don't have to look for the chemicals. No bombs or anything in the room. All right, we need to do red. So let's see. Um, now we wanted to go left. Then... Like that. Like, that's it, right? Yeah, like that. 
We don't want yellow. Get yellow out of here. We want red, of course. So that, that, then that, then that. Then blue. So then down to there, then down to there, and that's good. Yellow. Don't want none of that. And we want blue, so that. Then, um, that like that. All right, we got the bomb. And the door we need to use the bomb on is right here. Very condensed. Should I hide in here? Hopefully that's good enough. There we go. Found a 13 out of 25 puzzle pieces. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's many we missed. Not to mention we missed the, uh, the Billy Puppets cover. Oh. All right. So he's the last one. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Can I get... Fucker. Can I get a Molotov out of the vending machine again? Ooh. Is that... Shit. Daddy's Burgers? I don't know if that's what that's... It might be Buddy's Burgers. And there's Rosie's, sandwiches, soup, coffee, and pie. I, I want to peruse the menu, sir. Please? Please. You just, like... There you go. Go over there. Uh, no, it's probably Buddy's Burgers. Buddy Burger for $3, the Double Buddy Burger, the Buddy Cheeseburger, the Double Buddy Cheeseburger, Buddy Fries, Buddy Onion Rings, Buddy Chocolate Shake, Buddy Vanilla Shake, Buddy Soda Small, Buddy Soda Large, Buddy Combo Meals, Buddy, buddy Burger, Buddy Fries, Soda... Buddy. Okay, like, everything is called Buddy. I feel like everything's called Buddy. It loses distinction. Like, they should mix up the name, the naming convention. Like, the fry... Like, maybe the burger is called Buddy. The fries should have its own name. Let's see, Rosie is what I got. Sandwiches, lettuce, tomato, mayo, mustard, tuna fish, roast beef, ham and cheese, Rosie soup of the day. Ooh, only 50 cents. Coffee only 25 cents. Free with free refills? Are you kidding me? Wow. Rosie's the place to go to cut co for coffee, clearly. Then we got pies. Monday is cherry, Tuesday apple, Wednesday blueberry, Thursday banana cream, Friday lemon meringue, Saturday key lime, Sunday strawberry rhubarb. Wow. And you know if they only have one pie per day, that probably means they're making it fresh here. Rosie sounds pretty good. Okay, so now we've entered, like, the subway station. It is an entire... An, an entire abandoned, condemned subway station. Here. 
No, I guess this is just a hidey hole. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here. I don't have a stick. I used my bat already on some guy who jogged at me. Cover, cover, cover. No, I'm pressing the button for cover. I guess he was above me. We, lo we love you, son, and we're waiting for you. It says Jigsaw. Alright, so like I said, this guy is the only one left. The chief's dead. So once this guy's dead, then that's everyone. I mean, Pigman is still around. Kill. I don't know if we're going to fight him, because the game doesn't actually have the capacity to fight him. I guess thanks for announcing it. <laughs> oh, right, glass. Forgot about that. Been a while since we since I had to think about oh right, glass bare feet. Oh here we go! And there we went. I failed the QTE. And that's the end of my story. I'll, ne I'll never know who Jigsaw was. So after he kills me, can he just leave? Like, where's he? Where's he? What's he gonna do? Like, there's. I guess like everyone's still trapped here.
spear! Wow. It's a hell of a spear. Oh, uh, tap A to get gun. I'm mashing that A. Of course, it had to be the last bullet. I don't, I don't, don't throw it. Also, he had infinite bullets. We can just find, we can just take the bullets off of him. No, he just has a nail. I guess he ran, he finally ran out of bullets. Also, I mean, Jigsaw was taking some, uh, some risks. Didn't necessarily have to be the last bullet. I don't think he could have predicted that. No, no, I did. I, I totally predicted that. I, uh, I calculated that the fight would end upon the use of the last bullet. I knew it the whole time. I'm Jigsaw. What do you suppose this building is now? Is it still the subway? Oh, this is from the beginning of the game. This is like the the balance beam. All right. I guess it's not surprising that it's coming down to to the greatest challenge that Tapson has had to face, which is this balance beam. I hate these balance beams. Turns out, uh, yeah, he, uh, it turns out, yeah, he fell off the balance beam. I'm not sure if it was deliberate. All right, so, L stick is balance, and, nope, there we go. L stick is balance, LT and RT are walking forward. Some choices of consequences that are not immediately apparent, like not being very good at the balance beam minigame. That apparently has consequences. Why not do it one more time? We love the door mini game. We love it. I get to do it one more time. All right. Well, I mean, maybe many more times. How many times will it take me to cross the balance beam? Who can say? It's a, that's where the tension comes from. All right. Walk forward. L stick to try to keep balanced. And we did it. Elevator's empty because I uh, fell off at the beginning of the game. What a heart-wrenching moral choice I had to make. Oh, 
Oh, come on, Tapson. Come on, that was your own fault this time. fade out we will not know what choice tapson made he was he was offered a job well he wanted a job right i mean just as a journalist but no he's getting offered a job to be the new pigman even though there already is a pigman can there be can there be multiple pigmen i thought it was sort of like a sith rule of two thing here there can only be one jigsaw and one pigman uh maybe there could be more than one pigman possibly and we'll never know what choice he made because, of course, there was no Saw 3. No Saw 3 game. So that's where the franchise ends. Uh, for now, at least. Until the triumphant return of Saw in video game form. But, oh, those were some short credits. They didn't spend too much time on that. And that's it. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like I said, this whole game feels unfinished. So the idea that the ending and credits were that fast is really not that much of a surprise. Uh, so yeah, that's how Saw 2 comes to an end if you fall off the balance beam. So the, at the beginning of the game, the, the guy who we first played as, if you succeed as him and get to the elevator, then Tapson... Uh, dies because there's only one because the elevator only has one person in it so the door is closed and Tapson can't get in and so then he's crushed by like the walls and the drug guy survives and uh, then the guy is confronted by Jigsaw and who like Jigsaw gives him his Jigsaw speech and the, the guy tries to rush Jigsaw, and then he gets killed with a pendulum. So then, like, he would- so he still dies, even if- even if he gets on the elevator. It's a weird choice, because at the end here, uh, Jigsaw says to Michael, You've passed your test. Uh, you've seen the evil that addiction brings. But the final test had nothing to do with him. Like, he could pass his test, but then he still would have died if the other guy uh, chose to get on the elevator. I mean, I can, I can kind of see, like, the idea there of what if you were playing as someone else at the beginning and you make a choice, and then you go to another character and you're wondering throughout the game, what was the deal with that first character? And then it, it like... At the end, you find out what that was. Oh no, I screwed myself over because I chose to get in the elevator. I chose to do that, which means now I lose. Um, I feel like one issue there is that the balance beam is hard. 
and like that at that part is the first time you will have encountered it and I, I know I'm bad at it I'm just kind of wondering how many people succeed at the balance beam their first time because like I, I don't know what it looked like when I was doing the balance beam but basically the way it works is you are clicking LT and RT and holding and you're like you're using the stick to balance yourself tap if you don't press anything on the stick tap will always lean all the way over to the right and will fall over in like two seconds so then you move the stick to the left to get him to lean back to the left but not too far to the left otherwise he'll fall to the left when he leans too far to the left you then move it back to the right at the same time you're alternating lt and rt and hopefully you're getting to the end of the balance beam before he loses his balance like he goes back and forth too many times and maybe you uh, don't move the stick correctly to save him. Um, so I'm, honestly, that was the hardest thing in the game, the balance beam for me. So that, that meant I automatically got the good ending because I'm bad at the balance beam. What a poetic justice. No, it's, not, it's not poetic justice. What irony? I don't think that's irony, is it? I, I, I don't know what that is. So, yeah. Um, I guess that counts as the good ending because Tapson survives and has a choice whether to embrace his inner journalism and expose the truth to the world or he can join Jigsaw in Jigsaw's pursuit of justice um, by becoming the new pigman. Either way, I guess he survives as opposed to the other ending in which the drug guy at the beginning is going to die anyway because he's mad at Jigsaw. Also, it's weird because the first guy didn't really have any story behind him. He's just, hey, you did drugs. You estranged your son because of your life of drugs. Cut this key out of your face and then cross a balance beam. It's weird that like everything like Tapson goes through this entire big facility it's weird that I don't know it's not like drug guy is the like the equivalent to Tapson because he barely does anything like barely anything <laughs> anyway saw two flesh and blood so what do we think um like I said it's just it's just an unfinished game like obviously I've played some games where I just where I where I declared this has to be unfinished. I feel like this really stands out among them as this absolutely is. This was they the publisher said this had to go out. It was not ready to go out. It absolutely wasn't. Um It's like they simplified it so much from the first game. It, like the combat, there's no combat, there's QTEs. The puzzles tend to be the same, like it, it does the same thing that Saw 1 does, where there's way too many fuse box puzzles. The, um, the puzzles tend not to feel very, uh, good. Like the one where you have to keep moving that one guy so he doesn't get burned while you're playing the match game on the TVs. I hated that one. I feel like that was the worst puzzle in the game because I had to keep my eyes on the guy. And I look, look <laughs> instead of looking at the TVs. Uh, until I got more of a familiar with the pattern of the fire. It's also a little longer than the first game. I don't know why it needs to be. It really doesn't need to be. I've mentioned before that it, this game feels like it has no sense of progression. It, you're just kind of like in a permanent sense of the present. A permanent now. There's no past. There's no future. Are you in a new level? Are there levels? It just feels like one continuous, massive, rusty murder complex. Sometimes it's a oh, hold on the the we got dimmed. There we go. Wasn't doing anything with the controller. 
sometimes it turns into like a warehouse. Some it would began as a hotel. There was a hotel at the beginning. Sometimes it's a subway. Um Yeah, I just felt like it was very hard to tell if there was any progress being made or where or when we were in the game. Um All of these supporting characters we met are dead. I, does that matter? I don't know. Cyrus said Pigman was someone that Michael's father knew. We didn't find out who Pigman was here. I'm assuming this is something you would have already known if you watched the movies. Like, that's, like, there's so many movie references. That has to be it, right? Like, you already saw the movies. You probably know who Pigman is, so you don't need the game to tell you. Um, I, I have to assume that's what... Like, if I kept watching the Saw movies, probably there would be a movie where it turns out that one of Tap's co-workers was Pigman. I'm gonna guess. Um... Yeah, and a lot of the files, a lot of the lore and supplementary information is just all about movie stuff. Is that interesting to you? Eh, maybe it's interesting to someone. A real, uh, like a Saw super fan who wants to know some additional lore to the events of the movies. You know, I didn't realize Carla, pharmaceutical lady, she's like, she has a very small part in the first movie, but her part has nothing to do with drugs. Like, I believe she's the lady that, uh, Dr. Gordon is having an affair with. Like, that's that the doctor's big sin is he's seeing someone else. I think Carla was that lady. Uh, this game gives her a drugs plot. But what she was doing in the first movie, I don't think had anything to do with drugs. Didn't, I mean, she was barely in it. But it's good that they brought her into this game to give her some more story and to kill her. And basically nothing we did mattered because anyone we saved died. Some people really enjoyed it though, though like um, like the guy with the knife, knife hands. You don't see it. You don't. Not many people enjoy what happens to them in these in these games like that guy did. He was very happy with how he turned out. So it's almost a shame that we had to kill him. Like, I mean, if I had a choice, I probably would think we should we should keep that guy alive because he enjoys his new life so much. There was also Molotov Cocktail Guy, who I barely even saw on the screen. He killed himself off screen, yelling about how happy he was. And then we got the tape recorder saying from Jigsaw talking about how he likes to burn people. I don't know if I missed something there. I'm not sure. Um, there are some characters like Griff, the rapist from the beginning of the game, or Anton, the guy who likes to throw acid in people's faces. They never came back. So like a lot of some of these characters just never returned later in the game. Um, so in the end, what do we think about the Saw games? Well, they're, they feel real bad to play. They're tedious. They're not the longest games, but they feel like they're going on a lot longer than they actually are. Like, they feel they kind of feel like they go on forever, but they're really not very long. Um, they're ugly as all hell. Like, it's kind of rare that you see games that just look this trashy. I guess it's in keeping with the movies. Um, like, it's not... They're, they don't... The movies don't have a pleasant aesthetic. I guess it's accurate in that respect. Not much in the way of a soundscape, I would say. Or, you know, it's... Not much to listen to. Um, Jigsaw's shtick certainly does wear thin when you keep seeing it so many times over and over. And like a lot of, and like it's really padded out. So instead of like one trap, it's here's someone in a trap, but now explore this entire warehouse to turn the power on so you can find the key, so you can open the door to get the valve wheel, so you can use the control panel to access the elevator, so you can now get to the person who's in the trap. 
I feel like Jigsaw's whole thing really loses a lot of edge and urgency when it's when it's spread out like that. I, you know, I would say that the 360 era was not the time for a Saw game, if this is what how it's is going to turn out. I feel like now is the time for a Saw game. Specifically, there should be a Saw VR game. I mean, imagine being in virtual reality, being strapped into a Jigsaw torture machine, and, like, you, ha you know, that's probably something they should do. And, like, they could sell a peripheral that gives you electric shocks uh, when you fail the when you fail to get out of the of the trap to give you some real uh, physical feedback. You know, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting. When are they going to let me feel like I'm getting hurt in VR? I mean, I could hire someone to, like, punch me in the gut every time I take damage in a game, but that's expensive. That's real expensive. And I feel like we can do a lot better than that. Saw can do a lot better than this. Now, is that all that happens when it goes down to zero? There's just like a red light in there. Well, someone failed their test. Like, I don't, I don't know. We can't see what that person was doing or what happened to him. I know they failed that. Remember when we, we looked through that one window? where someone failed their test and they were tied into a chair and they had like buttons at their feet. I want to know more about that one. What were the what would what buttons did he have to press with their feet? I'm curious about that. <clears throat> well, just like Saw 2 Flesh and Blood, that ta that countdown ended with a disappointment. But can you really be disappointed if you never had any expectations to begin with? Jigsaw would probably say something like that and then tell you to, like, drill a hole in your molar because there's, like, a key in there. How do you get a key in your tooth? I don't know. But he can do it. He can make it happen. Jigsaw is very, very good at that kind of thing. Um... All right, people said Saw 2 was worse than the first game, and yes, yes it is. Saw 2 Flesh and Blood, definitely worse than the first game. It's still, I would still say it's a little above the absolute bottom of the barrel stuff that we've played. Stuff like Crying is Not Enough or Stray Souls. I feel like Saw 2 is still a little bit higher. It doesn't hit the worst ever category, it approaches, it flirts, it smells the aroma of it, but it doesn't quite get there. Saw 2, Flesh and Blood. The end of the Saw video game duology. Uh, we have now explored it. Once again, I may have mentioned this before, if you're interested in playing these games yourself, and why wouldn't you be? Uh, they were unlisted on digital storefronts, so, either buy the physical discs, like I did, or, you know, you can probably find them some other way. Illegitimate ways, but watch out, as if you do. Jigsaw might want to play a game. Hello there. I see. You've downloaded ISOs of my games, Saw, and Saw 2 Flesh and Blood, instead of buying them legitimately. Even though they are not available on digital stores, it does not give you the right to just simply download my games. It is your responsibility as a ethical consumer to purchase the games if in any way they are available. Maybe that just means buying them used on eBay. But if that is the only way, then that is the way you should do it. I cannot condone piracy because it, that's the same thing as drugs. Just like... So many people have an addiction to drugs that ruin their lives. You have an addiction to consuming media that you have no right to consume. And so now you must, um, you know, now you're in a trap where, uh, let's see, it's probably something like you have, you, um, you have to download this, but you're on a 56k modem and you you have 
uh, like say 24 hours to download. Will you, would you be able to download it in 24 hours over 56k? I mean, probably not. I didn't do the math on that. But like, if you don't, then um, your uh, I'm looking. Hold on, looking around the room right now. Looking around the room, I gotta have something here I can use. Um, I'm gonna put. Oh, what what do I have here? Um, I have. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I have like a lawnmower. Um, it's gonna like mow your crotch. That I I'm not sure how that ties into the whole video game piracy thing. Um, give me I I need to think of some wordplay for that. Uh, you enjoy stealing other people's software. Now, your uh, soft parts will be stolen by this lawn mower. Live or die. Make your choice. 